Hello. In this um, demonstration, I want to show you how to use SAS Data Miner um, to analyze data about retention. Okay. The source for this uh, demo comes from our textbook, uh, the Advanced Business Analytics book and in fact the steps are all listed in different parts in chapter 3 and uh, so we'll begin with uh, uh, project creation and data exploration which is explained in pa on pages 331 to 337 then on pages 345 to 349 talks about uh, how to use Stat Explorer and Graph Explorer and pages uh, 359 to 61 talks about how you can use uh, decision tree to create to analyze the retention data and pages 372 to 376 talk about um, different regression models all right so so the data uh, is for uh, a university and it doesn't say whether it's a real university or a fictitious university and uh, they are interested in um, learning if uh, uh, what makes a student to drop out of the university and uh, how you can possibly also try to prevent it so that's called retention and so it's a retention project and uh, they have collected data on academic uh, as well as financial data for each student and uh, there are more than 2500 observations and uh, they want to see if, if these student um, characteristics such as academic uh, you know grade and uh, um, admission high school rate and so on if they have any effect on the students decision to uh, continue you know college or not and um, page 316 of the book has description of the columns used in this data set and it's an alphabetical order so uh, student age uh, attempted hours attempted hours in current spring semester fall semester an average family income uh, then distance from home and the average retention rate for freshmen the past seven years from each dorm and uh, the number of courses the student dropped and number of extracurricular activities in spring semester for the student and uh, GPA in fall semester gender male or female uh, high school percentile so I guess that's a student grade and um, high school retention rate for those students from the, the you know high school uh, from the same high school as this current student and uh, whether the student is uh, in state or out of state and whether the student has any family members who attended this university major rate uh, its average retention rate for freshmen the past seven years for each major and percentage of need met by scholarship so that may be financial related SAT scores for each student and whether the student has uh, working or not and whether the student has applied for transcript or not in fall semester now the target variable is a binary variable it's zero one uh, it has value 1 if the student uh, did not return the following fall 0 if they returned the following fall so 0 is returned and 1 is not returned and uh, percentage of hours completed that is also an input variable so we got data on all these columns and we want to see how these columns can be used to uh, predict uh, whether the student will return or not uh, we will look at uh, how you know how you can explore the data and uh, we'll also see how data can be transformed because not all the columns have data that have a symmetric distribution and in addition there are some notes I want to share with you uh, by the way this uh, 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 notes is, uh, will be useful especially the one about uh, course library and because the data the data set is available in, at this particular location and um, you will need that if you're going to replicate this project all right now let's get on with uh, creating this project and I'm going to follow the notes from the book 
and uh, see how, how best to get this done.